G'day Smoke and Dagger fans. Today we're doing a Boston butt, but we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna use a red wine in the water pan, along with some other acidic fruits. Follow along and check it out. All right, folks, it's time to grab some butt. I'm talking Boston butt. Look at this beauty, fat on top, thick through the center, and bone in the middle. Lovely. First up, we're just gonna take a little bit of fat off the top. Doesn't have to be perfect, and not all the fat has to come off. We just want that thin layer on top. Next, we're gonna put a little bit of a binder on, yellow mustard's to go for today. Just gonna help that rub stick. Rub it in, and chuck your rub on. We'll be using Sweet Lick as our main layer today from Lance Barbecue. Don't be shy, this is a big piece of meat. It can handle it. Then we'll be using a second coat of Sweet Heat also from Lone's Barbecue. Not too heavy on this one, in case you've got people with no spice tolerance. We're doing it on the smoke fire today using apple pellets. Target temperature, 110. All right, and this is what we're doing a little bit different. A lot of acidic fruits and some wine today. So we're gonna chuck all those in a boat, fill it with wine, and that's gonna go underneath our pork. We're using these acids today in an attempt to both tenderize the meat and also to balance the flavors out. Let's see what the outcome is. Slide her in and put the pork on top. Today we're going fat side up. It's also okay to go fat side down, whatever floats your boat. We're going to be spritzing this hourly with a combination of water and apple cider vinegar. Coming along nicely, look at that nice red dark colour developing, that's what you want to see. Get in there with the spritzing bottle and give it a good spray, don't be shy. We're gonna smoke for approximately six hours or until the color looks good and the bark is set. Once that's done, grab some foil, spritz the meat, spritz the foil, add some butter underneath, give it a little bit more rub, wrap it up and chuck it back on for another couple of hours. We're gonna keep this in with the probe inside until it hits approximately 93 degrees Celsius. Once it hits the target temp, take it off and let it rest for a minimum of one hour. When it's done, it'll look something like this. Looks like we've got some interesting results. The bark maybe didn't hold on as well as it normally does. Um, it's not as dark either, potentially due to the increase in acid. But this pork feels absolutely tender when I pull it. And you can see that obvious pink smoky color in the meat. So lots of good to work with here. Look at that, lovely. All right, we're gonna chuck on our, uh, our homemade sauce here. Don't be shy, there's a lot of meat here. Let's get saucy. Don't forget to get there nice and deep for that mixing. Oh yeah, baby. Don't forget to have a cheeky taste test. All right, let's make a taco. First, homemade tortilla, then pork, then chipotle sauce. Then we got some slaw, and then you get stuck in. Tacos are pretty and all, but it comes down to taste. So what's the verdict? Over to you, Gus. All 
at Smoke and Dagger fans, this was pulled pork done for uh, several hours on the smoke fire. And I must say I'm really impressed with what a pellet grill can put out in terms of a very solid Boston butt. Uh, this thing rivals any of the best pulled porks I've had. And we've used our signature Kansas City Barbecue Society uh, cook method for this pulled pork as well. And it hasn't disappointed. So all the flavors are there. Uh, texture is definitely there. This is a nice, wet, southern style uh, pulled pork. Uh, and the barbecue is just as home on a freshly made flour tortilla taco as it would be on a barbecue platter or on a brioche bun. So you really can't go wrong with this recipe. Uh, it is a fail safe way to impress friends, family, and anyone that knows a thing or two about barbecues. So we've got a lot to get through. We're gonna tuck in. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe for more great content. See you guys.